The two swimming partners who took the police to the scene of the incident are still traumatized. Relatives of one of the children say they do not see their son recovering from the trauma immediately. According to them, a few minutes into the swimming, they realized their friend was drowning, but their efforts to rescue him was unsuccessful. Residents also attempted unsuccessfully to find the boy. We got information that the boy has drowned. A diver went into the stream to search for him, but was unsuccessful. We have hope that the child has not been taken far by the stream. If we put in much effort, we will find him. Yes. Father of the missing boy, Christopher Andorfo, said his son told him he was joining others to play football within the vicinity. I met my son and the two kids and they told me that they are going to collect a ball from their friend to come and play. Sometimes they play in front of the house, so I thought it is true that they are going to collect uh, the ball to come and play. Not knowing they have different agenda, they are going to swim inside the, the water. And unfortunately, I heard the call that he has been drowned, but the two kids have been rescued. They tried to help my son, but their help was not enough. And they shouted for help. And the person who came to help dive into the water, he tried his best, he couldn't find my son. The children walked for about 15 minutes to the stream, which is located in an area under development. Residents here say children from other areas frequently ignored warnings to swim in the stream. As part of investigations, police have been to the scene. The National Disaster Management Organization have also been here to assess the situation, but a rescue team is yet to be dispatched in search of the boy. Residents say it must be done immediately. For Joy News, Nanea Ojima reporting.